This is our second topic for this session. Now we'll see how do you actually compute various types of leverage. Let us do this with this small illustration. Now let us see this Kumar company has sales of 25 lakh, variable cost of 15 lakh and fixed cost of 50,000. Similarly, they have debentures of 12 lakh 50,000 and 8% rate of returns. We need to combine calculate this combined leverage. Now to calculate combined leverage, we need various element things. We need this financial leverage, we need this operating leverage. Keep your table handy and fill in the blanks over there. Sales minus variable cost is contribution, contribution minus fixed cost is EBIT. Sales is 25 lakh, variable cost is 15 lakh. How much will be contribution? 25 lakh minus 15 lakh, that is 10 lakh. Contribution minus fixed cost is EBIT, fixed cost is 5 lakh. So EBIT will be how much? 5 lakh, right? Let us see what we can find. Can we find as your operating leverage? Operating leverage is what? Contribution divided by EBIT. So let us find out operating leverage first. If contribution is 10 lakh, EBIT is 5 lakh, how much will be the operating leverage? 2, 10 lakh divided by 5 lakh, just leave it. There's no, nothing to represent. Higher the leverage means higher the risk, lower the leverage means lower the risk. So we found out the first operating leverage. Let us continue to find out the financial leverage. We have got EBIT of 5 lakh. EBIT minus interest leads to EBT, PBT. How much is interest? 12 lakh 50,000 is the debentures, 8 percent is the rate of interest. So 12 lakh 50,000 into 8 percent gives us 1 lakh. So 5 lakh minus 1 lakh gives us PBT of 4 lakh. So how will you find financial leverages? EBIT divided by PBT. EBIT is 5 lakh, PBT is 4 lakh. So 5 lakh divided by 4 lakh gives us 1.25. So we got two leverage. One is operating point of view, other is financial point of view. How will you find a combined leverage? Now multiply both of them. Keep it simple. Financial leverage and two operating leverage. Financial leverage we found is 1.25. Operating leverage we find out is 2. So combined leverage is 2.5. So overall risk of the company is 2.5. When you're comparing companies, higher the leverage, higher the risk, lower the leverage, lower the risk. Keep your concept strong and this is how you combine and compute leverage.